So today we're doing act two of the Our Conquest of Fontaine. I'm so excited to do it. I'm so excited to see what's gonna happen. So let's just jump right into it. Where we left off, we were going um, to have dinner, I guess, with Navia. That looks absolutely delicious. Right, we didn't even get the chance to like have a proper discussion with um, Fosalor. Wouldn't they be arrested? That's a little bit creepy. The entire cup is bigger than Paimon. As light rain falls without reason, I really hope we'll meet Linny and Lynette again. And I just want them to like reestablish their friendship, you know? Things are getting a little blurry. Don't faint again, please. Yeah, that's right. Wait, what are you doing? No, this is not your dear Vashya, sorry. This is um, our dear Ether. You were once human? So the case of the disappearances of the girls. This is where they end up? They've been dissolved and turned into oceanids? I know, as a form of their consciousness? That means Vashe was a witness to the fact that you dissolved. <gasps> oh! That could make them advance in the case. They have a witness now. Wakey wakey, Ether. <laughs> oh, cutscene. Wait, what is happening? What? Why? What in the world is happening? That was cool. Why was this entire thing happening? Ether's still recovering in the back. Who is she? Her father? Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm pretty curious. I mean, that was really a great danger. Like an, uh, an entire army of robots, or whatever they're called. So, so they were created illegally? Interesting, there's some hidden agenda between them or something. I was wondering what's up with that, since I read the new voice lines of, you know, Ether and Paimon, and they were saying positive things about Fonta, so... Ah, I see. Yeah, so they were targeting her, but Paimon drank it. <laughs> she, Paimon literally saved her without knowing. <laughs> They're always caught up in some mess. It is what it is. He just passed out and saw the consciousness of... He should really like tell them about the, the entire ocean thingy. I also gained some new intel. Mm -hmm. Some interesting intel. Some really useful intel. Mm, I'm pretty curious to see what their base looks like. Ooh. This is way too deep. It's like this is like the underground map. That's so cool. This is like an underground city. That's tragic, especially if he was innocent. Yeah, that's why I really hate the justice system in this country. Hmm, there must be a reason for that. Oh, so that's why you're investigating it right now. Seeking the truth for the sake of your family. Yeah, Ether can relate to that so much. Yeah, I've been saying this all along. I really hate the justice system in this entire nation. Um, they see everything as entertainment when they should not. Mm. Yeah, he, he did intend to die in that duel. Hello. Ooh, that's so cool, the door, how it opens like that. I mean, we've already had that in Sumeru, but... I don't know why it hits different in here. That easily? I thought there was gonna be more questioning of the matter. Yeah, 
So we're back to square one. Why is the atmosphere a little bit awkward? カーレスさんはとても優秀なご人だった。それとも、あんたの言う残念。あんたの目にはそう映ってるんでしょ。もし本当にパパの死を残念に思うのなら、どうしてあの時パパを止めなかったの？ Is this the first time we actually see someone cry on screen? I mean, like like this in this kind of situation, not in a cutscene or something. The voice acting, though. She was left clueless and in the dark. She was left with so many questions. It's raining. I didn't play Arc 2 like immediately after Arc 1, so I got a little bit spoiled, uh, you know, in social media. So I know the reason why it's raining and it's making me very sad right now. Your father's case, was he outside when it happened? But there was something you didn't know at that time. The fact that people can be turned into water. We're close, huh? We're close to solving this entire thing. Okay. <laughs> Making things easier for us. And here we go. Could the mastermind be the same person? Yeah, it's most probably the same person. So they went after him. Before he could like discover the truth and dig deeper. There were pieces of clothing left at the scene. So the real culprit like dissolved and disappeared. Huh, so you've been hiding something. Oh. So they were targeting her way, way before. So he decided to put an end to it before he dies to protect Navia and everyone. But since she took on the case right now, they're trying to get rid of her. The location. The enemy's headquarters. Now that is high quality information. Hmm, so there's a mole in there. Leave it to me. Alright, we have another case in our hand. Wait. So he knew he was going to die. Does that mean someone ordered Jax to take out Kalas? Maybe they threatened to kill his wife and daughter. So he had no choice. Okay, testimony from Jack's family. Or was there more to the incidents? I think there's more. There's some shenanigans going on there. So it wasn't his gun. See, he was framed. But why two gunshots? Information regarding Florence. Hmm, we still don't know who dispatched that entire army earlier. Okay, we only have the last person now. Information regarding theory. I really love the design of this nation. All these three suspects be acting so like loyal and innocent. So it's kind of hard to like actually know who's the real spy. Yeah, let's discuss everything. None of them really stood out as a suspect. If I had to like pick one, I would pick like the last one maybe purely because he didn't really give much information. Where should we start? Jack's motive. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. His family should have been threatened, for sure. If I was Jax, I wouldn't have fired a shot at all. Could he guarantee his safety after killing Kallus? Could he guarantee his family's safety after killing Kallus? That's true. Maybe like the third person killed Jax and Kallus killed the third person but they dissolved anyways in the rain. I would say Marcel for the reason that it has to be someone um, like capable financially and also for the reason that he's kinda was upholding information under the pretext of him being old and everything. You never know when someone would stab you in the back. So... Okay, so it has to be one of these three people. I, I got a little bit, you know, scared. I was like, what if it's actually Milius? Imagine. That would be 
The second top 10 anime betrayals of this are conquest. Honestly, you are the most suspicious right now. You are the most sus. I would really say Marcel. And he's the one who literally um, organized the banquet. So the Saint production base. Right, we still have that. Yeah, we have to do something about it. Another trial? A child? Yeah. Wait, 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 what did he do? Huh? Accused? Yeah, it is absurd. I definitely do not see child doing that. They frame child. Definitely, they framed him. <laughs> what a turn of events. I just hope Child won't be, like, charged as guilty. We'll have to be there for Child's trial. First, Linny, Lynette, and now Child. I think this is the first time I'm diving in video. I tried it out yesterday. I did some um, quite the exploration just to like unlock some bosses and everything. So I tried it out yesterday and it was really awesome. Inside the Opera Eclipse. Oh, we're gonna see Child's Trial? <laughs> He's like, how did I even end up in this situation? <laughs> no, it's like, what is wrong with this dude? Child's so unbothered by all of this, he just wanna fight. It's kind of weird that she's avoiding fighting at all costs and she's doing like nothing but, you know, playing this role in her country. It's so weird. Like, I don't know. She doesn't feel like an archon at all. I hope we aren't just charging the wrong man. I really hope so. But you are the most suspicious. See, these people really don't give a shit about anything else than drama. Oh my god. And maybe he tried to like defend himself by um like shooting the other person. But the other person dissolved in water, so thus the second shot was missed, you know. Okay. So the banquet. According to the investigation, Callus, who had a motive to kill, murdered Jax for his betrayal. But is that really true? So Mm -hmm. The scene of the crime after did not bring a gun with him. Moreover, details of the case point towards the possible existence of a third person on the scene. Mm -hmm. mm, okay, Kyle's case record. Oh, this one. Yeah, because we found the clothes. The guards' investigation did not recover any other uh, firearm. But it turns out that there is a method that can cleverly cover up the killer's tracks. It's this one. Mm -hmm. So that's how it went. You go, Navia. Mm -hmm. And he was the one who organized it. That's a solid point. How would you know what he wished for her? You only see yours. Basher. Now she got you. The plot thickens. We definitely must find proof and more evidence. This is really one of the best things they've ever done. Hoyoverse. The dive in underwater. If I'm not mistaken, he's being charged by Navia as we speak. Oh! Okay, so the mastermind is literally Marcel himself. They planned this well in advance. Mm -hmm. They had to silence him before um, he could like ruin their lives. Mm. Oh, maybe. And all these boxes of things, these names. So a lot of people. I have no idea why, but I thought immediately of the Tore. I mean, that disgusting creature literally does the same, experimenting on humans and people. 20 forward. How many victims were there? A goal of the researcher is to save his lover, a woman called Vignir, who was dissolved? Okay, I connected the dots. Yeah, he is the researcher. Everything makes sense now. Clever. But maybe not clever enough. Yeah, let's look again. Paimon, you found it? 
Okay, back to the opera. Yes, we did. You say you've never heard of Vacher. What do you have to say about that? Ooh. Go on, Ether. <laughs> yeah, definitely not. <laughs> mm -hmm. So the justice system of Fontaine failed you, that's why you decided to act on your own. He has a point. What? But you involved a lot of innocent lives at the end. I don't think your lover would, uh, would have approved of this. <laughs> yeah. I, I totally forgot that Daddy was involved. Guilty is charged. And case closed. Mm -hmm. You finally brought the real culprit to justice and cleared your father's name. There is something else. I know, right? I don't think this is necessary. How did he even get framed in the first place? Mm -hmm. Imagine the verdict. Don't tell me. Guilty? Huh? How? How so? What do you mean we must accept the guilty verdict? He is clearly innocent. What are you talking about? Yeah, you show them, child. He did the arm thing. He did the thing. The child soundtrack. I love it. It's been so long. I missed seeing him battle like that. No, 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 don't do it. It's gonna take your... It's gonna take a lot of your energy. Remember last time you did this. Bro, do not go foul legacy. <gasps> what? He he literally just body child in one blow. <laughs> if even the chief justice doesn't know, then we have no other choice but to a to ask the Archon herself. Why are you in Archon? Not gonna lie, she's more of a nuisance. <laughs> Why are you even an Archon? I'm starting to question her authority at this point and her capacity. What do you mean you don't know? Here she goes again. You're lying. <laughs> That's so cap. Oh my god, she's literally gonna accuse child just because she doesn't want to get embarrassed? Huh? He did nothing. You are very ridiculous. Yeah. <laughs> You're just running away, you coward. Is she really the Archon? Leave the Opera House. Okay. Okay, um, before we do that, I have some some things to say, you know. I've noticed a lot of people um kinda putting the blame on Traveler and like hating the fact that they got mad at Linny and Lynette for basically literally getting lied to. Even though I do recognize the fact that um, they still have, or like they're still in good terms with A, who literally was a tyrant to her people, and also Tartaria himself, who is literally a Fatui harbinger, and has done some pretty, you know, messed up stuff. I do recognize that fact, but still, I felt very bad for Linny and Lynette especially, because they felt very genuine, and they actually wanted to just have a friend um, like without their identity as Fatui to get in their way and like um, ruin the friendship. So far they've done nothing more than help the traveler and they had no ulterior motives nor did something bad or just like harmed people. So I understand completely the fact that traveler um, like was pissed and mad and was so upset that they got lied to. And I will never blame them for that because they have been betrayed multiple times and deceived to the point of, you know, they've had enough. So it's like a cup full of water that needed only a single drop to make it explode. I think this thingy with Linny and Lynette was that drop of water. And that's why I still think that really Traveler should 
try to reestablish the friendship with Linny and Lynette solely because they genuinely wanted to only be friends with him and not have any ulterior motives. They were so genuine to the point of actually telling them and Paimon about their um, traumatic experiences in past and why they became, you know, Fatui. And I don't blame them. Um, they were literally rats in the streets. They had to survive. They were orphans. And Lynette was literally in the point of getting abducted and, you know. If it wasn't for Alekirno herself who saved her and the other girls and saved Linny and Lynette in general from that aristocrat. So they didn't really have another choice. My final thoughts are, I'm not blaming Traveler at all because I do understand their feelings. I do understand the feeling of getting betrayed um, multiple times and you just need that little drop of water to just, you know, make the cup explode. But I also wish they genuinely take their time and think more about it and think rationally about trying to re-establish their friendship from scratch. That's all I had to say because I saw a lot of people complain about this and I'm like, have you never been betrayed in your life? It's completely normal to feel that way. Oh, and another thing, most of these people who've been saying this and complaining about Traveler, you know, feeling that way, um, are people who never really took the time to actually see Traveler as their own person and character with their own personality and feelings. So they get mad when their own feelings do not align with Traveler's. I digress and let's continue. If we don't actually cross paths again with Linny and Lynette, um, in this part of the arc conquest, I'm pretty sure we'll cross paths with them um, in the um, next arcs since um, Arlequino will be present. Uh, but before those acts, we will have to like play Linny's story quest, and I really hope they try to compromise and understand their position as well. Yeah, so I'm pretty curious um, and intrigued to see how the mood and, you know, the situation will be in Linny's story quest before, you know, arc 3 and 4. Oi. Uh, Marcel, let him talk. Oh, it was around the fountain of Lucene. I mean, it's his entire life goal, so... Is this actually her? Oh, oh I see. So they're like... So this is like an embodiment of every victim's consciousness. Mm. <laughs> that, that, this is getting creepy. <laughs> Later, um, the guards find the culprit of the serialist room of young woman case and wait, I didn't even read that. Several days later. Oh no, Navia. Oh no, Navia. Mm. He's not as intimidating as everyone thought at first, you know. Um, we still don't know what's actually happening with the Gnosis and, um, you know, the nation drowning or whatever. You know, the prophecy that Linny uh, and Lynette mentioned. Maybe questions that should have been asked to the Hydro Archon. But since Nuviet is literally more an Archon than herself, then... Mm, yeah, the primordial ones, mm -hmm, makes sense. So, about the prophecy, mm -hmm. former Hydro Archon, again some last words from an Archon, just like, you know, um, Ruka Devada, about child. Wait, that's actually true, we've never, we've never discussed that. Yeah, we've never mentioned it again. <laughs> True. Now that he showcased um, like his strength, he would want to fight him more now. Is it maybe related to what child has been, you know, um, experiencing lately? You know, the bad mood swings and, you know, the abyssal power residing inside of him or something? It could be that. Okay, so about my sibling, <laughs> finally. I, I know. <laughs> I knew he would say that. That's all you have to say about Lumin. Because I think he feels at ease now. You know, since the rain is literally related to him and his feelings. Alright, and we're done with the second act. So far, I'm really enjoying the Fontaine plot and storyline of it. 
I'm really excited for Alikino's appearance in the next acts of the story. From what we already know, Child said that each Harbinger has their own agenda, and we're starting to see it more with time. So yeah, Arlecchino, sure, well, she is a Fatui Harbinger, and she could have done some horrible stuff, of course, like, I'm not denying that, but at least she has morals. <laughs> She has an orphanage to raise kids and she gives them the freedom to do whatever they want and supports them in their like ambitions and stuff. She killed that child predator guy and saved Lynette and other kids. And her goal is to use the Gnosis for, you know, uh, Fontaine's good and, you know, to save them from the prophecy and everything. So from the information we collected so far, Arlecchino seems a little bit chill than, for example, that disgusting creature, Dottore. Honestly, out of all the Harbingers we've met so far, Dottore is literally the irredeemable one. If somehow, in some way, they decided to redeem the Tore. I'm gonna quit playing because that man is beyond redemption literally far way more beyond redemption um I don't know I'm thinking of pulling for Alekino I'm starting to quite like her character um like I've already liked her design when she first appeared in that trailer I'm not trying to say that she's a good person or whatever I'm just saying that at least she has morals <laughs> you know she's not like that Totori creature thingy. But yeah, um, I guess this is all for this video. Um, yeah, I'll see you in the Linus story quest and the other acts of Fontaine.